feel free. The phone is here and shit. I'm just going to play for a little while since I'm uh, on vacation. And uh, I don't get back till Thursday. And I'm not. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> it's ringing my home phone. <laughs> yeah, hey. What's up, Mama? <laughs> What's up, Blake? <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm rocking this shit. <laughs> I see you playing stupid video games. What is this for Twitch where you can like get make a couple bucks or something? No, I, I, I'm not. I just come on here and play sometimes during the afternoon. It's easier to uh, not really focus on the uh, the phone calls and stuff when I'm playing a game. Wasn't Twitch like originally created for like people to watch other people play video games? Isn't yeah. there some correlation there? It still is. It used to be called Justin TV, uh, and it was just a video blog site. And I used to fuck with people on there all the time. It was so fun. And then they bought. I then, remember that. Yeah. Then they bought it. Uh, Amazon bought it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sitting here with my kid. He's looking at me. <laughs> the fuck are you looking at, kid? That's not very <laughs> nice. He's only, he's only five months old, so I could. I, I could say I say stuff to him, you know, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Look at you, you little motherfucker. <laughs> he is cute. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you video? Why don't you? Cobra on the line. Why don't you? you why don't talk you, to Cobra? Oh yeah, let me talk to her. <laughs> Come here, babe. Talk to Cobra. Yeah. All right. Well, Dino, stop fucking looking at me. She said no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, and then I tell the kid, "Stop looking at me, kid." Nothing here for you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Blake. Parent, Cobra. Blake, yeah. I I told uh, everybody that uh, you you wanted to pay me to come and uh, and and do that uh, that comedy show you're trying to put together. Well, like <laughs> people are mad know, at man. me. I, I thought maybe, what's that? People are mad at me because I won't come. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you saw that I could put together like a uh, I put together that beat off show. It went off without a hitch, like. I don't know. I think you should service the audience in Philadelphia. I think they would like it if you came to say hi. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just hear the same shit over and over and over again and bitching and complaining. I know. I know the sweaty arms and everything yeah. like that. That's. I, I put a decent number out there. Honestly, I thought you might like to just to have a little trip and get away for a couple of days and then say hi to some old friends. I would get no. some you know, local comedians that we know. No. You know. I don't care about them. And uh, uh, I like being at home. I'm at I don't home. Understand. I, I'm at home now. I was just throwing it out there. No, I know, and I like. I loved it. I loved saying no uh, and telling yeah. everybody that I said no. So I know how those those cretins are in uh, Philadelphia, where they they expect me to go and do all this crap, and uh, I'm not doing it. All this crap. All this crap. All you have to do is come here and uh, and see the show. Just introduce the comedians and then do a little meet and greet. See, no, that's the problem. No, what? that's the problem. Well, not. I don't want to meet anybody because it's going to be the same crap of whining and complaining. Hey, when are you coming back? Hey, what happened to open mic? Hey, when's Thomas coming back? Open hey, mic? no one's concerned with open mic. You that's all. That to me before. Yeah, that's what they do. They they bring up all these people that like even I forgot. <laughs> that's, like, that's like saying that's like saying what happened to Rob Blagojevich who yeah, cares whatever you know, happened like, it's good well he was good he was great on the show <laughs> bring him back yeah yeah, yeah the, 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 the him stopping a, a fan with his penis was legendary no no I'm talking about Rob Blagojevich he was great on the show you need to bring him back no <laughs> I know, and I meant that he stopped a fan with his penis on the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Open Mike did stop a penis on the on the air. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I understand what you're saying, but who did you tell about this? I, I mentioned it on the air. No. Oh. Well, I was serious about trying to put something together, by the way. No, I know. I know. There's no way you could scrape up that kind of cash for me to come anyways. That's you're a lot. absolutely wrong about that. That's because... I know how some of the comedians you were thinking about bringing. I know, especially one of them, uh, 
you know, Bob Levy feels like he is one of the uh, uh, on the. I know. Uh, he I thinks know. he thinks he's on the. Uh, uh, you know the Mount, <laughs> the, yeah, the Mount Rushmore, the Mount Rushmore of, him, yeah, of Rodney hilarious. Field, Eddie Murphy <laughs> and, and, and George Carlin. Yeah, <laughs> uh, right up there, and it's an honor for them to be up there with the Reverend Bob Levy. I know. I think the last time I tried to get him, though, he's like he was living. Is he still living in like North Carolina or something? I uh, the last time. No, that was a while ago. That was before you went to jail. Uh, he was buying time on a radio station because nobody wanted to pay him to be on a radio station. So he was buying time. I guess he, I don't know if this is true or not. I guess he borrowed money from Artie Lang to do it and it fell through. So he had to go and do a bunch of free shows for Artie. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much too. He was doing like a night to Columbus up here. Cause I, I know a guy who like, he, he thinks he's really funny. And a lot of people think Bob's funny, but he was like, yo, I'm going to see him at this Knights of Columbus place or something. I'm like, okay. And then like a week and a half before the show, he goes, dude, I think he canceled the show. And I think it was because he didn't sell any tickets. Yeah. Well, it's a so, bummer. Well, Bob, Bob Levy is one of the funniest men on the planet. I, I love Bob. It's just that Bob, Bob, it always tends to be where Bob is in the Bob business. Well, you I mean, know, are you in the kid Chris business? Yes, but I will share share that with others. You know, like every time we'd go to like Atlanta, he'd call up and be like, "Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I want to be on, man, I want to be on a lot. We'll do a show, we'll do a show." And a week in, he'll go, "All right, let's do a show." I'm like Bob, nobody even knows my name yet. He's like, "This is bullshit." Then he disappears. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I, you know, I can't really comment on that, but it sounds completely accurate. No. <laughs> Well, I've moved a lot, and it was the same song and dance every time. And when we came here, he tried that shit again. He was leaving voicemails, uh, uh, you know, goofing on me and all that stuff. And he kept going, I'm back, baby. I'm back. And then no shows, Bob. See you later. <laughs> yeah, but see, in this circumstance, though, I, I know I mentioned Bob Levy, but that was a long shot. But, like, you know, McGonagall and some of these other guys I see around, I know I could get. But it, honestly, with this whole thing, you're the draw. So, you know, I think if people just had an opportunity to come out and say hi, that would be the big deal about the whole thing. No, you know what would be funny is uh, is for me to just do it, pay me half and I'll do it on Zoom. And then when I'm done talking, I'll just shut it off. You know what you should do? You should, <laughs> you should do cameos. Have you ever tried to do that? I'm not doing any of that stuff. You, you think that people give a shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, but if you put like a decent price on it, if you put 25 bucks out there, I would get a cameo from you. No. You know what I mean? It's just no. for you to come on, like say whatever I want you to say. Well, I would, I would, I mean, I'll do that anyways for, for somebody. I, I know, but I would write out a full gay confession. No. And then read it to no, me. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. On, I want to go on Cameo and just get celebrities like write it out and say, uh, "Yeah, my name is uh, Charlie Sheen, and I want to fully admit that I'm a homosexual male." And, like, and see if he'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because at the end of the day, Charlie Sheen's going, "Hey, man, it's fifty bucks." Yeah, yeah I'll say this. Well, yeah, maybe, you know, like maybe that's a funny game that we could play. We could pick the celebrity and then write something, and then. <laughs> And then, yeah. and, and, then, and see if we can get him to say it, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> see, we'll write it on the radio and then send it and see, we got to guess whether they say no or not. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, cause my buddy got one from that guy, uh, shooter McGavin, the guy from, uh, uh, what, the, what's the golf movie with, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh happy, happy, happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Yeah. Yeah, the guy Shooter McGavin, like the the villain in that. Yeah, I really, w I would pay money to to hear Shooter McGavin talk about how he spends his recreational time killing small animals. You know? <laughs> well, you know what's funny is Dice does those cameo things, and his are like thirty minutes long. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I've heard that. It's like the a full circus. <laughs> yeah, it, there was one where I watched where he was. He was on there and uh, he was going off about somebody's birthday and shit. And he's in his little weight room and his his girlfriend or somebody starts talking to him and he starts yelling at her on the cameo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, but 
I think you should reconsider. I think, all right, so if I put a petition out there to get Kid Chris out here, what if, what if I put together a GoFundMe page? What's the number that gets you to Philly? I, no, no, because I don't want to talk to anybody. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you I, do. No. Well, there's, there's a number that gets you to talk to people. Yes, there is. No. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, let's see what happens. No, I'm at home. I like my home. Um, and I have no interest in uh, going out there and listening to the same complaints and the bitching. Now, keep in mind, uh, you you know, I know you went away to jail for how long? Five years? Three. Three years. I've been out of Philadelphia. I left there in 2008. Um, what, what do they call that when you want to? Oh, move on. <laughs> Everybody out there should listen to Preston and Steve and move on with their life. No, we can't do that. See, yeah. Now, here's the other thing. Let me let me put a new spin on this. All right. What if we do a raffle? Right. <laughs> Each ticket costs ten bucks, and then two fans get to fly to your house and hang out with you. That'd be a better. There'd be a better chance of that because I just won't answer the door. <laughs> Yes, you will. You're going to do something for the fans in Philly. You're there is no, no, there are none. There's bitches in Philly. They bitch. No. Yes. I know. I know they bitch. Yep. They got a lot of complaints. They got things to say, Cobra, yeah. but we're going to figure this out and you're coming to Philadelphia. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm actually going, I, w- I was looking at the schedule. It's like all these great games are coming as far as, uh, um, uh, like uh, the Flyers games and all that, some great games happening there. But uh, I'm not going. I almost was going to go with a friend, but we're gonna. Uh, I'm going to go out to uh, Columbus and see them play in Columbus instead. I almost want to. I almost want to solicit. Uh, I, I want to see what I could do to get you a better radio contract in back in Philadelphia. Good <laughs> just luck. To, just to like put pressure on you. you. You'll never leave. I no. I love it here, and I would never, dude. What I live in here, it would be a an apartment in Philadelphia. No, yeah, but but Cincinnati is a truck stop town. That 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 place stinks. You know that. For what? As far as what? <laughs> and it's as far as everything. No it's flyover country. So you can call it what you want. I love it. And I got kids here. I think they make like the biggest industry you have there is like I think they make like tires. You know, that's, that's what you got out there. You know what I mean? There's I, nothing there. I have family out there. And what, and what is there in Philadelphia for me? Listen, this is <laughs> Philadelphia is the epicenter. Of what? It's, 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 of everything. Of commerce. You know what I mean? Philadelphia, sure. it's... it's I, <laughs> the, the, com- the commerce for me here is fine. It's Pennsylvania, the sunshine state. Everybody loves it here. That's not the sunshine state. I lived in this. Wait, is it California, the Sunshine State? I don't fucking know. Yeah. They got these names. Who knows? It's the Windy City, Philadelphia. <laughs> Everyone knows this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Look, in two hours, I'm in New York. Bang, I'm at the beach. I'm at the mountains. I'm in D.C. They got everything here. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> How do they have everything there? And everything you mentioned was about leaving. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I can't argue with flawless logic like that. So if we're going to continue this conversation, <laughs> you have to stick with the mythological world of your coming here. <laughs> Move back to Philly. It's close to the places you want to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm at the beach. Boom. I'm in the mountains. Bang. I'm in fucking New York. I, we got everything here. The, I never. I hardly went to New York when I lived there. I didn't go down to the ocean when I was there. What did I do when I was there, Blake? Oh, I know what you did. You went to a Flyers game once every so often. No, I went and, to a lot uh, of. I went to a, your apartment and argued with Lene. Yes, and I, but I did go to a lot of Flyers games and a lot of Eagles games. But uh, I uh, am a okay with never going to one of those again. I'll be fine. Okay. Yep. Well. We, we'd love you to reconsider, but, you know, in the meantime, I'm going to be here and uh, tell Allie to uh, <laughs> unleash those luscious yabos. That, you know, that, that's her- that is harassment, sir. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I I wish I could see the uh, the chat isn't up on the uh, on the screen, so I can't read uh, what people are saying. I'm sure they're bitching Did about. Do you have me. an OnlyFans page? Who, Allie? Yeah, I don't think so. Not yet. Uh, Not right. yet. She's gonna <laughs> she's gonna wear herself out of the radio business. Yes. and then. That's like, right. She's you got know, turn around she, and realize like there's not much out there. Yeah, the, the the honeymoon's almost over for her. I'm sure the band's will start trashing her and crushing her soon enough. <laughs> oh no, really? <laughs> I doubt it. But I I heard the ratings folks were pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Radio management. No. Yeah, yeah I know, but haven't the books been good? No, Are you guys you, 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 you know that none of that matters. It's about you know. Hey, you work here. Do you get paid? Yes, I do. Well, fuck, get out. <laughs> I know. But honestly, there's been guys on the radio for the longest time that they sucked. Um, like Imus. Imus's ratings were always shit, but he, his stations build like crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all about the personal endorsements and shit. Well, I certainly do those. I didn't. I hardly had any in Philly. That's because the talent fee was ridiculous. Oh, well. Oh, I hear you. Well, anyway, I'll let you get back to playing your games. Let's hear, hear, hear from some other people that are going to beg you to go to Philly. That I did gonna... a good job, people. Leave yeah. Cobra alone. <laughs> yeah, it ain't coming. I'm not going to town for, for nonsense. That's the T-shirt. That's the T-shirt. Leave Cobra alone. <laughs> leave, leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Leave me out of it. That's my slogan anyways. Leave me alone. Leave me out of it. Want nothing to do with anything. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right, I'll be here. I love you, Angel. <laughs> All right, later. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. There goes Blake from sales, formerly of sales. Then he went to prison, so Blake from jails. You could call like he did at 5-1. Some people were. It's weird. I got call waiting on this thing now. 513-813-7979. It was really odd. I didn't think I'd get call waiting on this. Uh, anyways. I'm going to shut that off. Fuck. I'm no good at this shit. No. Uh. <laughs> yeah. What are you See ya. Yeah. Okay. Fucker. <laughs> like doing the dumb radio show. Uh, I'm not drinking tonight either. I went to a lunch and got got a few in, so I'm just busting out some water. Hmm. It is funny when uh, Blake's been hounding me about doing. Uh... Hey, turn it down! I don't want to hear no, myself. The queen is dead, fucker. What? The queen is dead. Have some pity on her. All right, dude. You take care. Um. Yeah, Blake was hitting me up on the on the text thing, you know. Asking me about coming back there and doing a comedy show. Hosting it with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> At first, I was like, oh, that'd be fun. And then I realized, yeah, the bullshit I get on emails, on the uh, phone, the text, Twitter, bitching. I mean, I got carpal tunnel in my uh, Twitter from people in Philadelphia bitching about me not being there and all that stuff or or changes in the show and all that. Like, I have something to do with any of, the, any of that bullshit. Uh, I have carpal tunnel in my thumb from blocking motherfuckers. Because when you're, when you're a cunt, you get blocked. 
I don't mean that in a female way. I mean, when you are a cunt and you bitch, especially from a town that everybody is like all like, oh, we're tough. We're Philadelphia. We throw snowballs and shit at Santa. So we're fucking badasses. Hey, why don't you come back? <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not that fun to hang out with anyway. So I would, uh, if I went, I would just, uh, Want to be paid to go? Intro maybe introduce uh, the comedian guys. Uh, not respond to anybody. <sighs> See, it made me fucking die. Not respond to anybody yelling shit out. Not do any meet and greets afterwards. You know, do the total opposite of what I do here. <laughs> I'd have to do that shit here, and I don't get paid for it. And I'll hang out with anybody at a gig. But if I were to go to Philadelphia, I'd want to get paid for it, overpaid for it, and not talk to anybody. Yeah, that's the way it works. Yeah. Fuck. I used to be good at this game when I was a kid. What up, what up? Hello? I just want to call and talk about wrestling. About wrestling? Let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Are you, are you watching any uh, WWE? Are you familiar with the White Rabbit thing that they've been doing? Yeah, I, I saw a clip online. I, I watched the other night, and I, man, I've been out of re wrestling so bad, or, or WWE for so long. I was watching it, and uh, they had that guy, uh, uh, Logan, is it Logan Paul? Yep. Yeah, he was in a ring talking shit on 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 somebody, and now all of a sudden he's he's gonna wrestle Roman Reigns, right? Yeah, the R Roman Reigns was on his podcast like the day before that whole thing started. Well, I I know, but you know how that works. It's, yeah. I mean, they, they don't yeah. they don't they don't hide that they're all friends. Um, I don't know. I just it, a lot of my friends have told me that it's worth getting back into watching it again. I just not to have. It's been several years since I've watched WWE, so I don't. It's gonna be hard to get back into it. Now I heard that Bray it's Wyatt. Gonna be Bray. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah I what heard. I was just gonna say Bray Wyatt. I heard he's coming back. Yeah, they've been they've been playing that White Rabbit song, you know, during the commercial breaks and stuff in the arena. Yeah, and there's like a QR code last night. People figured out. What? What? Oh, what was the QR? Code? See, I like that kind of shit. Like when yeah, Chris. Yeah, looked that up. So it's White Rabbit QR code. I guess there was a scene with that some Austin Theory guy, and in the background was a QR code, and people realized they scanned it, and there was a whole little video, a weird video, uh, about the White Rabbit. And you have to look it up. It's all over YouTube. Okay. Yeah, See, that I, was pretty cool. The, yeah. Punk and all that other stuff. They they got me all fucked up. They fucked up the whole AEW flow, man. It, everything was going great. I know. Yeah. Well, that I think. Um... You know, when when I the time I met CM Punk in uh, Atlanta, he was kind of cold and kind of like a dick, um, but he was miserable at his job. You know, I get it. Yeah. And then we interviewed him on the phone about some movie he did here, and uh, he was really really cool. And then this shit happens where he starts fucking battling with everybody at work. I, I guess this guy's just hard to work with. Maybe they should just get rid of him. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Anyway, he's crying about not being friends with some guy. Like, get over it. He's yeah, yeah. A little bitch, honestly, about it. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Well, I just want to call in, man, and say, put it in your cup. Ugh. All right, dude. Talk to you later. Later. <laughs> yeah, All Elite Wrestling's coming here to Cincinnati. I, I guess I'm going to that. Somebody at work said that they got me tickets. So, I guess I'm going. That's fine. Put it in your cup. You know, um, I used to sit up late at night on the weekends, uh, actually ex during the summer, so it was during the week, um, at my house when I was a kid. I had summer school uh, during the day, and then my friend Joe Delahunt, Captain Bass that was in my group, uh, you know, K uh, KFA, uh, him and uh, my buddy Dave Smith, who I go see when I go uh, to New York, I stayed the night at his house. We would stay up all night playing this fucking Ninja Turtles game, man. It was awesome. It was when my dad was out of town working, and, uh, you know, we would have fun. My mom didn't care. You know, when my dad was home, it was fuck that. Nobody comes over and shit because everybody hated my dad. I was fucking screaming and telling everybody to turn it down and be quiet. 
<laughs> so my friends never came over when my dad was around. Ah, oh, fuck. You can call 513-813-7979. Yeah, I was watching online on the... Uh, uh, on Twitter and stuff, all the uh, the shit with the, them playing the the track from um, that song "White Rabbit" um, during the commercial breaks in the arena uh, at the re- at uh, WWE SmackDown. I thought that was kind of cool because you know that shit was gonna get out there vi- viral uh, because people have their uh, phones and shit and they record that and they put it out there. So they all the people with the phones and stuff they did all the work for them. And the speculation and shit, that's pretty awesome. And that QR code, I mean, that's interesting shit. I'll, I'll check that out. Uh, being a wrestling fan, when uh, if you're a wrestling fan, you remember when Chris Jericho came back to the WWE, they did all those uh, Save Us promos that were really fucking cool. But, right, you fuck. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, if you're checking this out for the first time, this is normally not the time I come on and do this. Um, it's been a long time. I've uh, During the winter months uh, are, are the best times I do the streaming show on Tuesday nights because people are indoors and stuff, not outside because uh, the uh, weather is so fucking shitty. I've been doing it a few years that um, I kind of keep track of the stats and see how that is. And more traction happens during the winter months. Uh, so that's why... Um, I haven't been on doing the Club Chris thing, but I should be, this fuck, I can never. Um, so I plan on probably the uh, beginning of November, I guess, I don't know. Maybe October. I'll start doing it again, if, I, if at all, who knows. But normally I uh, go on and do a full, full-fledged full show type thing, taking phone calls and shit. Today I'm just playing these fucking, these video games. Testing out some of the uh, software shit, the new camera setup, none of the stuff that you would really notice. Things that make it a little easier for me to do shit. Fuck, motherfucker. I love when people try to call with blocking their numbers and shit. The software blows you right out. You won't even get through. Sorry. <laughs> what up? Hey, honky, get off the phone. We got to talk to you about the Yo, you fucking clown. <laughs> get your ass back to work. No, I'm, on... You. See you. I'm on vacation. I'll be back Thursday. Hello? Hello? People have a tough time using a telephone. (laughs) Uh, That's fucking, I can never beat this fucking dude. God damn. Uh, I have no room on the screen to be busting out the uh, the chat, and I kind of enjoy that because I don't want the uh, be distracted by. It. I like the phone calls instead. What's up? Did Thomas move back to San Antonio? Uh, yeah, I think so. Alrighty. I thought I saw him. <laughs> Probably. Was he pushing a stroller? Yes, he was. In yeah. a Walmart. Yes, that was probably him. He's Mamas. <laughs> it was on the south side on top of that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. Oh, he's, oh, yeah. God, that sucks. Yeah. Not by where y'all were at, the west the west side location. It's the south side. So it's a yeah. little better. A little better, yeah. Where 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 my off that studio we built was was on the south side. It was rough. 
that was a rough one. No, that was more West Side, honestly. Okay. That studio. Yeah, that was, is that building yeah, still there, I, the, one, the one we were in? I don't know. I know you were off of 90. I know that. God, I don't remember. Yeah, we built that studio, and I had to... Uh, we had to put security in, and then I had to tint the windows and stuff because all my equipment and shit was in there for that stream yeah, show was, we did. But yeah, that was scary. I, I didn't know exactly where it was, but I knew you mentioned General McMullen. Yeah, that's right. That's where it was. And, it, and I was like, that's a horrible area. <laughs> yeah, well, I know it was uh, It was interesting because the, the little uh, like strip mall thing we were in, it had a uh, an internet phone company that was on the corner from uh, where our little uh, office was and uh, we struck a deal with them to be on their uh, Wi-Fi and they, they ran internet cords into it there for us I mean it was a it was a pretty great it was a great setup we had a lot of help it was really really cool in there it was pretty, pretty innovative if you look at it compared to what's happening now but shit yeah I mean uh, um, I mean I, yeah you can't uh, I mean how long ago was it was that was 2000 yeah. 10 nine. yeah yeah right it was nine and ten i think i'm around there yeah, yeah. nobody would nobody was doing that shit yeah you had to have you had to rent a rate we had to rent a radio station basically yeah yeah and we did it live mm -hmm. on this and I, it was funny because uh when i we were doing that we got fired in philly and we were streaming every day for two hours a day every afternoon and then we podcasted it and that shit Nobody was doing that. And podcasting, you were a loser. Uh, right. Oh, it's a fucking loser podcasting. <laughs> now you turn on the radio, everybody goes, but fuck, hey, get my podcast. Oh, get my podcast. Podcast was like CB radio type shit. Like yeah. Oh, it, we were constantly on the, um, uh, we were constantly on the, uh, the the top Apple chart and all that stuff at the time because mm -hmm. there wasn't 7 billion podcasts, you know? And I know I had to buy more fucking bandwidth and all that shit for the server. It was a fuck. It was tough. Probably expensive as shit. It wasn't as expensive as, as you, as you thought, but, uh, it wasn't the stuff I liked. I didn't like paying. That's for fucking sure. But, uh, it was uh, it was fun to pull off because we were learning as we went, but it, it, it sucked because, you know, when you want people to check it out and once they tune in and there's, uh, uh, you know, no bandwidth and it says, oh, the stream's down or whatever, you know, people never come back. So it always it was always a pain in the ass. Yeah. But uh, those are some fun times in San Antonio. I remember yeah. listening to you. You did the Saturday night show. And you had, I remember the Sulu calls were on some website that you had that was released because you were on Stern. Yeah. And um, you didn't know, you had no clue people knew about how to find stuff on the internet stuff. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it, yeah. Was, it was all new. Yeah, well, shit, I got my job in Sacramento because of uh, people were taping my show in Wichita and putting it on Napster. And that's how I got my there job in, <laughs> that's how I got my job in the, uh, out there in uh, Sacramento. It was more right. fun. It was more fun that way when uh, it was, uh, stuff that you weren't supposed to be using, like Napster, uh, like the torrent mm -hmm. sites and all that shit. That was when it was fun. Now everybody's using, you know, SoundCloud and podcasts. Everybody's got a fucking podcast. Oh, every time I turn on the news, it's, uh, oh, yeah, we got uh, this murder was solved because of a podcast. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Why well, the queen is going to have her own podcast. <laughs> Well, take care, Cobra. You in San Antonio. Yeah, I, I, San Antonio is awesome. Now there, I'd go back. I'd go back and work in San Antonio. The weather there is awesome. You guys were had. You guys had a drought forever, right? All the whole summer. That's the whole great. Summer. Oh, when I lived there, they would have a drought, and my wife would be like, "This is terrible." I'm like, "Motherfucker, I came from shitty rain and snow and all that shit. I want drought. Fuck it." <laughs> it was hot as shit this whole summer. 100 yeah. degrees every day. Good. And the sun is out, it's hot, <laughs> buy a fucking Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, enough of you. <laughs> Later. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to bounce here in a second. It's fucking... This...
This pig head fuck. I never win. Uh, shit. Oh. Yeah. You said the queen has a podcast. <laughs> the queen is dead. Her family. Think about the family. She's dead, Chris. I know she She's is. Dead. And I'm glad. She's been she's never, been dead forever. That, that, she, I never understood the fascination with the monarchy. I still don't. I don't. I don't get it. You know, and people, like I said on Twitter, people goof about, oh, Kim Kardashian's famous for no reason. At least she fucked Ray J. These people did nothing. <laughs> we got a sex tape out of that yeah, one. We got sex tapes out of that. <laughs> this lady, she has been... I think she has been in a coffin as long as her reign as the whatever that is. She is. I told my wife she's probably grown potatoes out of her eyes at this point. <laughs> she, she's been the queen longer than my grandparents were alive. Yeah, and your grandparents did way more than this woman. And my grandparents are dead, Chris. I know. They're dead, and I'm their family. I know. I know. I get it. <laughs> All right, dude. Good night. All right, see ya. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce off of here. All right, it was it was a nice chat. Just jumping on for a few minutes. I gotta go eat dinner, and don't forget, the Bachelorette is on tonight. So if you want to live tweet about that, I will be doing it. All right, I'm gonna bounce. Later's.